Welcome to SFSU, a show created by the students for the students. Join us for a spectacular show full of enjoyment and insight as we discover what really goes on at SFSU with your hosts, Maya, May, and Julian, and Joey on the Street. Lights, camera, and action. Hello and welcome back to SFSU. My name is May. I'm Julian. And I'm Maya. And for this episode, we're going to be discussing one of the most important aspects of everyday life, food. From bringing friends together to nourishing students and athletes for their A game, food is a necessity that is soy important for our physical and mental health. That's right. And for this episode, we will be sharing with you recipes and snacks and that any college student can find in the time and money to make. We'll also be interviewing someone that you may have spotted working at the counter behind Cafe Rosso. And finally, we're going to bring a very special guest with a very special quirk that you won't want to miss. Stay tuned for that at the end. But up first, Joey will brie serving SFSU <laughs> scouting out the best and worst eateries on campus. God, is, is it going to be like this the whole episode? Yes. This is Student on the Street. I'm Joey Foisey. We're talking about food today. Where is it cheap? Where is it good? How often does it give you a stomach ache? Do students like to eat? How, what do they like to eat? I like to eat. We're at Cafe, Cafe, we're, we're at Cafe Rosso. We're at Cafe, Cafe Rosso. We're at Cafe, Cafe, Cafe. We're at Cafe Rosso. Today we're at Cafe Rosso. Uh, we're gonna check out some other places too. What's the best food on campus? Do you guys like food? Yes, absolutely. I love food. That's the best thing in the world to me. What is the best place on campus to eat food? I don't know what it's called, but there's a burrito place in the Cesar Chavez building. The best burritos. I love it. Is it called, it's not called best burritos though? If I could name it, then yes. But I don't think that's what it's called. They should rename it. I think so. Um, absolutely, City Eats, burgers, best food ever, ever. The fries are immaculate. And the salad bar. City Eats burgers. I've, I've, never, I've never set foot in there. It's so good, it's so good. And the people are so nice. Is it cheap? Yeah, I'd say it's reasonable. Hi, I like, um, this is Cafe Resso. They do a scrumptious bagel. What's the worst place on campus to eat? City Eats. <laughs> so we've got we've got a conflict here. Um, I don't know. I think everywhere's pretty good on campus. I, I think it's. I mean, coming from the UK, it's great. I haven't heard good things about the food in the UK. It's not good. It's not good at all. It, it's lacking, lacking severely. It's basically the only thing we can do is sandwiches. Really, I'd say we have really good sandwiches here. What's the best food on campus? Um, oh God. I like the sandwiches here. For being real. At Rosa? Uh, I like the Vilmar sandwiches, personally. Vilmar has sandwiches? They, they, they got sandwiches. You didn't know that? I like the chicken tendies. You actually, you can't go wrong with the chicken tendies. They're pretty good. We're at Village Market at San Francisco State University, commonly known around campus as... Vilmar. That's true. I get my chicken tenders here once or twice a week. It's unhealthy for me, but the food is really good. Let's talk about it. Let's go. Let's go see what's up. I just lose today. Yeah. All right. Um, can I also give you a short interview, or do you have a lot of people in mind right now? Uh, just two people, and you're all good. Do you like food? Yes, I do. What's your name? Gabriel. Gabriel, what is the best food on campus? Keeping in mind you're at work right now. Okay. So the best food here. This is not, you know, sponsored by me, but you know, it's gonna be the chicken pesto avocado. Mm -hmm. Now, really? The ciabatta, it hits the spot. Yeah. I'm gonna Actually, have to try that. Yeah. The chicken chipotle, second best. You gotta try it. How do you feel about the chicken tenders? Ooh, those, those are, you know, good, but it hits a spot if you want chicken tenders. Thank you so much. I'm gonna stop uh, holding up your line. Yeah. Where does it where does it go? It just it just disappeared. Where does it go? I think it just goes in here. 
It gets frillified. Frillified. That's wild. There we go. We love that. Do you guys like food? Yes, I do love food. I'm a tourist, so I love food. Yeah, I like food. What's your favorite food on San Francisco State's campus? Um, I like the halal shop because I'm Muslim and I will eat halal food. I think it's the best, honestly. They're like white sauce they put on top so they to die for. The halal shop is good on campus. Also, the Thai yellow curry at Cafe Russo really good. You see, I've been wondering about the curry here. People keep telling me not to try it, but thank you for thank you for telling me that it's good. Because I'm gonna try it tomorrow, probably. Right? I mean, it's not like obviously not authentic um, Thai food, but it's good. It's, it's nicely spiced. It serves. You love food? Why do Asking what? Food question. Uh, sure. Okay. Do you like food? Yeah. What's your favorite food on campus? Uh, probably pizza. From where? Uh, from Bricks. Bricks has pizza? Bricks has pizza. And coffee? Yeah. What's the worst food on campus? Uh, probably the, uh, the Garden Burger. Oh. At City yeah. East. The face of justice on San Francisco State University has decried the Garden Burger at City East. You heard it here first. Spider-Man, and I guess you might not be able to answer this. Do you live on campus? Yes. Where do you get your groceries? Um, I can't say that. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> do you know about Gator groceries? Yes. It's a very useful, uh, useful place, right? Yes. Right on. I met Spider-Man today. There you go. And, um, and he saw me drinking a milkshake. And he said to me, I'm from West L.A. And what does this mean for our campus, for justice, for food? What does it mean for, for what the best food on campus is? Is it this milkshake? Is it the chicken pesto avocado from Village Market? Is the best food on campus from Quickly? Have we been lied to all day today? Who knows? I like chicken tendies. Thanks, Joey. We actually do have a whole lot prepared for you guys. In fact, our survival guide is jam-packed with so many recipes that it's basically a cooking point. It's basically a cookbook at this point. Now, we know that being a student means that there's often little time to prepare decent meals for your, ourselves, especially during finals. So we have taken note of some of our favorite meal ideas to share with you. Let's get into it. First up is the most important meal of the day, breakfast. Now, I know that sometimes we skip breakfast because we don't have time or simply we have no idea what to make. But eating before class can sometimes make or break your concentration and therefore your grade. Now, some in-house favorite breakfasts of ours include overnight oats. Just take a small mason jar and fill it up with whatever ratio you want of dried oatmeal cut, uh, strawberries, chia seeds, or nuts, and any milk of your choosing. Mix it all up and leave it in the fridge overnight, and you have a sweet and refreshing meal ready for you in the morning. Now, if you want something more on the go, you can head on over to Trader Joe's, just located in Stonestown. Now there you'll find some great multi-serving breakfast snacks, such as waffles that take a quick moment to heat up or a variety of different oatmeals, and all of these items are affordable and quick to prepare, which is perfect for any student who needs the second or a dollar they can spare. Now we're gonna move on to lunch and dip. Perfect for students who can't waste a single second when it comes to studying. Now just pop any of these in the microwave and save time you would spend cooking on more important matters. Some of these options include chicken tikka, or vegetable samosas, chicken taquitos, and a variety of microwavable curries and masalas. Frozen vegetables are your friend, and with such cheap prices, such as this bag of broccoli right here, they make great size and are an easy way to get some greens in ya. 
Now finally, we actually have a fantastic resource on campus for students who may be worried about spending too much money on groceries. In the spirit of fighting food insecurity, Gator Groceries is a food pantry and it's opened every Wednesday and Thursday from 1 to 5 p.m. and on Friday from 12 to 2. It's located in the Caesar Chavez Center. It's, a free, it's free to sign up and reserve a box which is filled with snacks, drinks, and fresh produce. Now Gator Grocery also offers other resources such as nutritional education services and cooking classes. Become one of the 300 plus students who take advantage of this free no shame program each week. Now we hope with these tips and tricks, even the busiest days as a student can be made easy and can help take the stress off of you and your wallet. Um, can I take some of these? Yeah? Cool. Don't mind if I do. You know, I had a little bit here about busy them at work after the shoot, but after the cleanup from the survival guide, I'm simply not so hungry anymore. Welcome to Purple Rush, where we have a tasteless segment planned for you all today that I'm very excited about. We have our guest, Mirka, here, Hi. who cannot taste a thing. Can you please tell the audience why that is? So a year and four months ago, I had COVID and it has yet to come back. So I am making light of it today because that's all you really can do in life sometimes. So I'm just here to make us laugh a little bit and make myself laugh. So thanks for having me. Awesome, thank you thanks. so much. I'm very sorry to hear that. But I do wanna thank you for being a guest on our show today. Yes. It means a lot to us. And you're gonna be a great sport. Um, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna be find taking... out. We're gonna find out. <laughs> <laughs> we're, you're gonna be taking a blind taste test, okay? okay? So we have the blindfold for you here today. Okay. I'm gonna here we go. put this on. Thank you. Let's see, how's that? Yeah. You're gonna good. be tasting some pretty intense flavors. Okay. I don't wanna get your hair. Oh, you're okay. Oh, you might need, yeah, there you go. Thank you. Got it? Perfect. Okay. Perfect. We're gonna be tasting some pretty intense flavors. Let's see what you if you can guess what they are. Okay. Um, let's see if we can get you to taste something finally. <laughs> Today um, might be the day. The day. Let's find out. The day <laughs> the, has the, come. The purple rush cures here. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, yeah. it will come. It will come. I know you're probably not gonna be able to smell it either, so yeah, we'll just keep it just like that. Okay. Um, if you can't <laughs> guess it right the first time, yes. Beatrice here is gonna give you a hint. Thank um, you. We'll give you one more chance to guess it and you'll get a point. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> the first one is a little nasty, but it's the oh. only liquid that you have to drink today, okay? <laughs> it's not wine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> okay, go okay. ahead, Beatrice. Go ahead and open that up. All right, look at that. <laughs> Look at that um, liquid. Okay, it. nice. Go ahead and let, let her let her taste that. We'll, Here, we'll I'll put, put it in your hand. It's a and cup. You can, you can drink it. Okay. And yeah. then you can just drink that. Should I chug it? Yeah, uh, go ahead. Take no, it like a savor shot. Savor it. Savor it. Oh, okay. Do it like that. No. Nothing on the nose. <laughs> okay, nothing on the nose. How's the aromatics? Yeah, give it some. Nothing. Give it some. Give it away. Yeah, Pretend it's it wine. <laughs> <laughs> what, what kind of hints do you get? Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Here we go. It feels. It's thick, huh? Yeah. <laughs> like there's pieces in there or something. <laughs> Can you take a guess at what it is? <laughs> Nothing? Vinegar? Like some type of vinegar? Wow. Oh. You actually did really good. It's is balsamic it? vinegar. Yes. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> nice. That's one point for what you. What a so win. Far. That's great. Okay. <laughs> Next, this one is a lot nicer than that. Okay. Um, go ahead and show that for us. I'm yes, shocked. This is a lot nicer than that. Okay. Yay. Give you a little change of scenery. I just no, chugged this, it. This one I'm gonna feed. <laughs> I just chugged balsamic vinegar. She's gonna feed this one to you, okay? Okay. Here we go. Okay. Open your mouth. <laughs> it's got a unique texture, huh? It's a strawberry. Ooh, so oh. close but wrong. <laughs> Kiwi. Wrong again. Okay, that was a raspberry. Oh, wow. Almost, okay. almost, almost. Okay. All okay. right, Texture. if you can't already tell yet, we're switching back and forth between nice foods and intense foods, okay? Okay. I so didn't... prepare yourself for this next one. Okay, so this next one, okay. it's a good one, right? It's, okay. it's, it's, not, it's not horrible, but 
We're gonna give you some extra points <laughs> if you can guess the color of it. Oh, okay. Okay? <laughs> My breath stings, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh. let's see, which color is it? Okay, okay there we go. go. Open You're it up. You're feeding it to me? Yeah. Open okay. it up. There you go. What do you think that is? No, it's a Cheeto. Crunchy. Cheeto? No, well, not a Cheeto. Hold on. Okay. That wasn't the right chip. A pretzel. <laughs> a Cheez Its. Oh. <laughs> Cheez Its? Wait, and wait, a wait. What is it? Is it a Cheez Its? Wait, can you try to, try to guess it by like what shape it is? Here, I'll give you another one. Open your mouth. Open oh, your I mouth. can't. I can't hold it. You gotta. No, take, take the. Oh, <laughs> take the shape inside of your mouth. I almost hit the spoon. <laughs> Feel around. Can what? you tie a cherry stem with your tongue? No. Okay. <laughs> you might not be able to what tell the it? shape of this it? then. I stand by it's a pretzel. Okay. Well, that <laughs> was a goldfish. Can oh, you guess the no! color of it? <laughs> 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 it was a goldfish. Okay, guess the color. Of the goldfish? Yeah. <laughs> it was colored, I think. It was a colored goldfish. Mm -hmm. Guess the color. You that get was, some extra points. You can do it. It was green. Green. I think the second one. No, the f it, it was the, yellow. Okay. Oh, wow. And the first one was red. You had two guesses. You could have got a thousand well, points the, there. I think yellow and red make green, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That counts. So yeah. this one isn't a liquid, okay. but it's also not a solid either, okay? okay? All right, let's go ahead and reveal that. It's not a liquid, but it's not a solid. It's not a liquid, it's a and gas. it's not a solid. <laughs> it's a gas. Yeah, look at that. Mm. <laughs> it's jello. That looks like something my cat leaves. Oh no! <laughs> what did she say oh that? no! <laughs> Is so it tuna? Evil. She can't taste it. <laughs> yeah, I can't taste okay, it. Just, just like. Is there a toothbrush on top? <laughs> there is. We'll have a toothbrush for yeah, you. All okay, right, I'll open just, up. I'll just put it on your tongue, okay? Mm. Just a little bit. Yeah. Mmm. It tickles. It tickles. Yeah. Oh, that's a good. That's a good sensation. You want then, some right? more? Give her some more. My nose. It's going up my nose. Oh, it's going up your nose. You feel it in your nose? What do you think it is then? Give it's me a guess. Wasabi? Wasabi! There you go. Yes, <laughs> that's it, perfect. That, that hurt. is perfect. <laughs> it hurt? It hurt my nostril. It hurt. Okay. <laughs> that's so funny. Wow. I got it right. Is that the first time you've had wasabi? Since well, I, actually, since I lost my taste, I haven't tr I tried it. No, you know no, what? I had, had it at dinner. I had it at yeah. dinner two okay. days ago, okay. and I didn't yeah. feel anything. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's stuff. move on. Let's, this, we're, we're making Purple progress. Purple rush. You might we're be onto something. Here. <laughs> this next one has a funny texture, but don't worry. It's a tasty one. Okay. okay. This one's a tasty one. Okay. It's got a weird little texture to it. Look at that. Mm, yum. <laughs> sold. Yes. Whenever it is yes. sold. Okay. All right. Choo -choo. This one's interesting. <laughs> there you go. What do you think about that? Is that a lot? Mm, chocolate. Okay. Keep going. You're close. <laughs> is it good? Is it bad? Is it's it a cake? lot. It's What's a the lot. Huh? Is it cake? No, it's not cake. Texture. 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 What are the Come on, one more. There's like chocolate chips in there. Do you okay. Want another, another like they feel like chocolate chips. What's what? What's in chocolate chips? It's not ice cream because it's not cold. All right, ice cream. Not no, a, not it's not again. ice cream. It's not ice cream. So Hold close. on. It's, it's cookie dough. <laughs> Chocolate chip cookie dough. You almost had it. <laughs> All right. Wow. All right. I'd worry a little about this next one. Okay. Oh, we have something pretty intense, okay? Okay. You could say this one takes the pie, but it's not pie, okay? I said, is that a pun? <laughs> don't, try, don't, don't try this at home, folks. Okay. All right. Is it shaving cream? It's not shaving cream. <laughs> Everything here is edible. We're not oh, going to do that to you. Everything here is edible. <laughs> Everything here is edible. Go ahead and get that open. Might need some gloves for oh this one. Oh my god. <laughs> Am I allowed to it's touch a it? Little messy. Uh, yeah, let her touch it. Uh, oh my god. It's pretty big. You don't have to. You don't have to eat the whole thing. Just take a bite of it. Yeah. Okay. That looks a little here. intense. Here. All right. You want to touch okay, it? Here. Lift your hand. Yeah. yeah there you go. Hold it. <laughs> I'm holding it? What well, do you mean? You gotta, you gotta put it in there. there she go. can't see. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it. <laughs> All right. Different. It, it's a weird texture. All right. Go ahead, bite it. Bite it. Take a small bite. A Why small is it bite. so? Bite. It's Why pretty it? big. It's pretty yeah. big. It's pretty big. It's like a large oh. Dorito. Can go I ahead. have this? Here yeah. Go. go ahead. Eat it. 
What do you think? What do you think? It's a Dorito. Okay. <laughs> Everyone's laughing. <laughs> That's it? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Wow. Nothing? Yeah. No. Does it does it tickle your nose at all? No. Okay, that was a pocky chip. What's that? That's like the hottest chip in the world. It's here a one are, chip folks. challenge, and she didn't get it. Wow. If you right. were thinking I was lying, here we go. Here, here we are. are here folks. we are. Here we Nothing. are. <laughs> Guys, I want to thank you. I want to thank you, Mirka. Yeah. Maybe we can take this off. Yeah, probably. Take this off. Let's take thank this you. off. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank of course. You. Thank you. Thanks for having Thanks me. For all of this. Oh, this we is have okay. We want to thank you all so now much I see. for being here and allowing us to make a segment at your expense. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We do have a prize for you, though. We do have Aww. a prize. We're gonna putting you up for all our shiitake that we put you through today. There's a bottle of Pepto-Bismol. You might need this a little bit later. I will. Okay? Thank you. All right. Thank you so Thank much you. for That's joining so us here Thank you. on Purple Rush. Thank you so much. Thanks, folks. That's hilarious. Oh, no. Are you? I could hear you guys laughing. <laughs> Did you try it? <laughs> it burns. <laughs> oh, wow. That all looks tasty. Up next, we have a one in a melon guest who I know May is real excited to share with us. Excited I am, Julian. As you know, my name is May, and welcome to Campus Connection. Joining me today is Gracie Lamar, a student who works at our beloved Cafe Rosso. Welcome to the show, Gracie. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so you've been working at Vilmar since, or no, you've been working at Rosso since August, and you also have been working at Vilmar as well. When did when did you start working at Vilmar? I started working at Vilmar around like March. Okay. Yeah. How's that been so far? It's pretty cool. I like it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you're at um, you're a student. You're a freshman here at San Francisco State, and your major is photojournalism and you're making some coffee on the side. How do you balance between school and then work? I know everything's on campus. But yeah. Like um, being on campus like definitely makes it easier because I can just like walk like right out my door and go to campus, I mean go to work. Yeah. But um, I just try to balance it by like, once I'm off of work, like I stop thinking about work and then once I'm at work, like I don't think about school. Okay. And it helps too because like I can make myself like lunch at work so I yeah. don't have to like worry about that. Okay. That sounds really useful, actually. Yeah. It'd be nice to just make lunch. Plus the free coffee helps, too. So Plus like. the free coffee. We, we love a free coffee. Uh, I'd, I'd personally love to know, what is the busiest time of the day? Just so like we can all know when to avoid the long lines. Definitely like 10.30ish to 12. Okay. Yeah. 10.30ish to 12. Oh, definitely like lunchtime, right? Yeah. Is, do you usually work shifts around then? Yeah, I usually work seven to one on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's fun for you. <laughs> it's pretty fun, it goes by faster. Okay, do you like the rushes? Yeah. Okay, all right, I respect that. <laughs> uh, what do you think is the best thing at Rosso to get? Ooh, um, for sandwiches, the BLTA on Dutch Crunch. Okay. Um, and then I usually get like light mustard and light uh, mayonnaise. Okay. And then for drinks, the iced vanilla cinnamon latte with oat milk. I gotta try that. We were talking about that it's earlier. It's so good. I really want to try that. Um, where do you prefer to go to eat on campus? Probably Cafe Rosso or Quickly's. Okay. Yeah. What's your go-to Quickly order? Um, I get the Thai tea, or then I get the lychee slush with lychee jelly. Okay. Yeah. And then last question that I have here is: Do you have any? Um, or actually, I'm wondering: Do you like? Do you have any like? Does either Vilmar or uh, Rosso have any good vegetarian options? Yes, we have vegetarian sandwiches, and mm -hmm. then I think Vilmar has like a veg vegetarian pizza. Do you have or any? Or a vegan pizza. They have a vegan pizza? Yeah, it like has no cheese on it. Oh, I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah. I have to try that. Wait, I didn't just... know that either, and then someone ordered like a vegetarian, uh -huh. but then I accidentally gave them a vegan. So what's on the vegan pizza? It's, it's the sauce, the... Yeah, I think, I want to say it has pesto i'm not sure i just know it has like no cheese oh, okay. and then it just has like veggies on it and i think it has either pesto or marinara oh that sounds good actually yeah. i gotta try that and so what um what's a good vegetarian or vegan thing to get at rosso then um the most popular one is the veggie chicken pesto okay yeah did you say 
what was it veggie veggie chicken pesto they have like veggie meat instead of like actual meat oh yeah okay i'm learning so many new things i go, i literally go here all the time <laughs> and i'm i'm just i don't know yeah um what is your favorite drink to make my favorite drink to make is ice chai's ice chai's they're so easy they're so easy <laughs> sorry i'm also a barista um i love making ice chai's they so, you literally I love them. just pour milk for ice yeah um what is your least favorite thing to make Ooh, i'd have to say the javivas everyone hates them okay could you remind me what those are yeah it's basically <laughs> like a frappuccino so it's a shot of espresso ice milk and then syrup discount but, but discount frappuccino yeah, yeah. something like that <laughs> well thank you so much for sharing your knowledge with yeah, us of course. um anyway you can uh go to cafe rosso and catch gracie sometime uh or just check out what great options they got to eat Thank you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of SFSU. What a great episode we had this week, huh? Yeah, for sure. Actually, I'm probably going to head to Cafe Rosa myself and probably see some of my dear viewers there. Yeah, and I'm so excited to sit down with all my new snacks and just watch the new episode of Moon Knight. Great way to unwind after the long day of shooting. Make sure you tune in next week where we will be sharing with you the world of our campus's international students. Yeah, we'll be talking to students who have studied abroad or are currently studying abroad here in the United States. And we'll be giving you tips on how to navigate school in a foreign country. And with that, cake it easy. Peace out. And have a great day. <laughs> See, See you next week. week.